Okay, so I already filmed this video, but the video that I did did not want to go through my computer. I don't know why, but it's just not working out. So I'm going to film it all over again. These are products that I've used up these past couple of weeks, and I'm just going to tell you what I think about them. So the first product that I'm going to mention is the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Spray. And a lot of people really seem to like this. I repurchased it over and over again. It's really good. I used to use the Chi Iron Guard, but that costed me $13 to $15. I don't know. It was pretty expensive. I don't know the numbers on top of my head, but I do know that it was way pricier than this product. And I feel like it does the same job. My hair hasn't suffered any burns or anything like that. So it's a good product. It's only $3 and I've already bought a new bottle. I like it that much. The next product that I'm going to talk about is this Pantene Pro-V Beautiful Lengths Strengthening Shampoo. Um, I tried it years, years, years ago and it was my absolute favorite shampoo and then all of a sudden I couldn't find it anywhere and now they brought it back and or at least I found it I don't know if they discontinued it or anything but I couldn't find it anywhere and then all of a sudden it hit the shelves again and I tried it finished the bottle don't think I'm going to repurchase it it's supposed to strengthen your hair but I feel like my hair still breaks at the ends and I just I'm still getting split ends it's it's not a miracle shampoo I don't know I I haven't bought bought another one of these I've actually switched to a sulfate free shampoo and I feel like my hair is doing a lot better um, than it used to when I was using this so as far as it strengthening my hair it didn't strengthen it. I still had breakage. I still had split ends. It didn't do anything. So that's what I feel about the next the thing is the Batiste dry shampoo. And I mentioned this in my October favorites. I love this. I've tried other dry shampoos that are way pricey. I've tried the Oscar Blondie. I've tried just I tried the Tresemme one. That one sucked. Do not get the Tresemme dry shampoo. It is no good. I'm warning you right now. Um, it's cheaper than this, but this is definitely the best dry shampoo. I always buy the original scent. I haven't tried any other scents. I know they have different ones. I know they have one for brunette hair. I haven't tried any of them. I always go to this one, and I love it. I believe it runs from about six to seven dollars. Super, super affordable and well worth your money. Just checking to see if I'm still recording. Yeah, I am. Okay. So, yes. Love, love, love this dry shampoo. I can't rave enough about it. The it's last my thing I'm going to talk about is this Renewing Moroccan Argan Oil. And it just... The Butter fingers. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It says it's a unique precious blend of Moroccan argan oil which instantly penetrates the hair shaft restoring shine and softness while strengthening and creating soft seductive silky perfection. I do really like this. Um, I like that it's a very thin oil which means that it doesn't weigh my hair down at all. I usually go two or three days without washing my hair. Like this is the third day that I haven't washed it and it's pretty decent, but I know some people think it's kind of icky that I don't wash my hair every day, but I still do it, whatever. It's it's good for your hair. Um, and I put this on um, on my ends, a little bit on my bangs um, during like the second and third day uh, just to give my hair a little bit of shine. It's good, I like that it's thin, doesn't weigh the hair down. However, I feel like you need a lot of this product in order for it to get that silky, soft, shiny effect. I don't know what it is. I feel like I have to reapply this 
throughout the day, which is not fun. I don't want to mess around with oils all day. It doesn't really, it doesn't really last long on my hair, which is kind of weird because it's an oil. But um, yeah, I have very thick um, hair. Maybe that plays a part in it. I don't know, but I I want to find something that that I can put in the morning and that'll just last all day on my hair. This is good. It's it's a it's a good product, but I would like to find something that lasts a little bit longer. So if you have any recommendations, um so please let me that know. is it for this very very short video. If you all have any suggestions as to other products that I should try, please let me know so that I can do a review for you. And I will talk to you guys later.